एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई नो दैट आई हैव इंट अपलोडेड वीडियोज लास्ट वीक द रीजन वाई इज बिकॉज आई हैड एग्जाम्स बट स्टिल नाउ आई एम अ बैक विद न्यू वीडियो ओके सो द वीडियो टॉपिक एज यू हैव क्लिकड ऑन इज कैन वी बिल्ड अ ब्रिज बिटवीन जबूती एंड यम एन अनदर शॉर्ट एंड रूट बिटवीन एफ्रीका एंड एशिया Uh, the reason is because uh, as all of these uh, three uh, land masses africa asia and europe are all connected with one another this entire continent is called afro eurasia uh, afro eurasia however has a big problem asia is connected to both two continents but europe and africa are both settled are uh, connect uh, both are, are not connected by a ocean and the mediterranean sea while asia is connected to africa yes it is by the sinai peninsula uh, with egypt being the only transcontinental country in africa uh, this has uh, uh, the only connection between them in asia africa is very poor and hence that asian uh, uh, people want to go into africa and help the people located inside of there but okay uh, but there is a, another place in which the two continents can be connected Over here, this area is called the Banda Madhab Strait. It is located between these two countries, Djibouti and Yemen. Djibouti and Yemen are some of the poorest in the world, and they both lie on different continents. They are both Arab, but they are separated by the Banda Madhab Strait. There is no bridge connecting them. However, it always used to not be like this. Uh, back in those ancient times, when our ancestors moved from Ethiopia. they continue to uh, uh, inhabit the entire world and when uh, the ancestors found the banda madhab strait it wasn't even there because it was completely uh, a land and it is not even water the reason is because in those ice ages uh, they were be able to easily walk instead of inventing boats that's why uh, uh, people haven't arrived in uh, uh, yemen even before people have arrived in egypt that is weird right And, and even more weirder is that they didn't even uh, reach Egypt next. They reached Israel next, which is surprising given that people have reached Israel before people have arrived in Egypt. Whatever we live in, right? And yeah, that's the name of the channel. Well, uh, and why I have uploaded videos like this. But anyway, is uh, when the ice ages began to uh, to disappear, uh, the Banda Madhab Strait was completely submerged. Separating Africa and uh, Asia over here, but still connecting over uh, them over here. But can we at least uh, reconnect them again over there? Can or can we build a bridge or tunnel that can shorten journeys between Africa and Asia? Well, first of all, the uh, reason is because uh, uh, well, there is a problem in the Sinai Peninsula over here. Israel is blocking uh, the other side of the Arab world from the other side of the Arab world. so uh, uh, that means it can't be possible to walk between syria and egypt uh, by passing through israel instead we have to take long boat journeys across the bay the bays of uh, no seas uh, of the red sea and the mediterranean but it can be easy to connect uh, uh, djibouti and yemen by the banda madhab strait the boat arab right okay so uh, uh, that means uh, it can be easy to build actually it uh, is planned for a, a second Uh, back in uh, in those times, one uh, guy from Yemen uh, planned of building a bridge uh, by uh, building them in between. Here's what I mean. In the middle, there's an island called Parim Island, which belongs to Yemen. Building a road from here connecting the two, and the narrowest point between mainland Africa and Parim Island uh, is only six kilometers away. So that means we can build a bridge, right? Actually, no. The reason is because as there are thousands of multi problems of course the depth is also very shallow but there of course there is a lot of bad issues one of the issues is that uh, they sit on the colliding uh, way in between the somali african and arabian plates now uh, this uh, gap is called the afra triangle and it uh, cuts right in the middle of the strait making this area full of earthquakes In fact, Djibouti also has a lot of volcanoes uh, in the area. Uh, this fault line goes all the way down to Mozambique 
uh, by the Zambezi River. Uh, this always experiences Africa to have a lot of uh, volcanoes. Remember Kilimanjaro? And anyways, uh, uh, Arabia also has a few issues because of few tremors would also hit Yemen as well. Uh, but after, uh, but still, uh, if we can build it, there will be other issues too. A lot of issues. It will all. The, the biggest issues that will uh, be there are economic ones. Probably two reasons. The, one of them is that it's one of these areas are some of the poorest in the world. Djibouti and Yemen are some of the most poorest in the world, while nearby Eritrea, Somalia, and Ethiopia are not far behind. And, and also, uh, uh, despite this, the only other neighbor which is rich is Saudi Arabia. But there is less support over the region because Yemen isn't very good friends with Saudi Arabia. And that doesn't even factor what Djibouti might think about them. Um, but however, the biggest reasons will have to be the Yemeni civil war and Somali pirates. The Yemeni civil war has been going on and on and on. It is not even stopping until now. Despite the uh, war being shrank, it still isn't over yet. Yemen and experienced a civil war and until its reunification of uh, uh, Yemen and uh, afterwards uh, uh, it is violent and it doesn't go on. But a bigger issue is Somali pirates. Uh, when uh, Imagine that like you are going from Athens in Greece and you uh, pass the Suez Canal which uh, separates uh, uh, Egypt and Africa in that uh, uh, Egypt, Africa and Asia all the way together, they all uh, uh, go to the Red Sea in the Bandar Madhab Strait and ha, you see pirate infested territories. These areas are some of the most pirate infested waters in the entire world and uh, uh, when ships uh, go into these uh, waters in the Gulf of Aden in Red Sea, they will of course uh, be targeted by the pirates and building a, a bridge across the strait may good lead to serious death so probably it's not a good uh, good thing to build the uh, bridge this region is one of the most unstable in the world in fact nobody has ever uh, got the price of this entire uh, uh, project so uh, uh, probably this is not a good issue to build the barnamada state bridge okay. so thank you for watching this video and if you're very new to the channel please subscribe and i am hoping to who uh, make more videos in the future uh, and uh, uh, thank you for watching this video oh, please subscribe everything and uh, thank you oh, uh, and uh, bye everyone just